What's up my love buds and little lovers? It's Mama Love and I am here with an exclusive video. And the title of this from many of you probably know I had posted yesterday was the question, did I raise a colorist? We're gonna hear that from different opinions and different stories and not, not I'm taking opinions, but facts from Queen's Deep Godmothers. These are the Queen's Godmothers sitting here. My girls. <laughs> And I'm just gonna go, you know, go down the line. This is. I'm Tracy. I'm from Detroit. Well, Ipsy and Detroit. I'm mm -hmm. Carla Woodset, and I'm from Ypsilanti. I'm Diane. I'm from Sumter. <laughs> it's a touchy subject, and we just want you to know before we start this video, we are not coming to justify, target, manipulate, um, cause any drama or anything in that nature where it may cause any more trauma than it has already caused Queen. So we're here to let you know that we come in peace and just basically speaking on her background and what, how she was raised and how she is. So basically that's what we're going to talk about. And so we're going to get into this video. How do, I mean, when you first met Queen, who am I starting with? Who, who want to go first met Queen? Uh, I was baby Queen. Yeah. <laughs> I had Queen when she was a baby baby. <laughs> Um, Queen have always been a God-fearing young little girl from the start. So like, I already knew that she was going to be a singer because when Queen was little, two years old, her favorite son was no weapon for and against me shall prosper. Mm -hmm. And she needs to embed that right now in her everyday living as she climbed up the corporate ladder because no weapon for and against her shall yeah. prosper when people saying these things about her being mm -hmm. Talking about different colors because God is love. It shouldn't even be no color. We need to uplift our sisters, females, women, young ladies, girl power. So when Queen was little, she always had like a beautiful voice, smile, attitude, and the kids did pick on her at school. As Queen, she wasn't the only one bullied. Kids like bully kids because kids are cruel and mean. But everybody raised their kid how they're gonna raise them and the kid gonna go to school and do stuff different. So some of that don't fall on the parents, it falls on the kid. But Queen was the type of person that she gonna come home and tell. She gonna come, she's gonna come home and tell. She gonna come home and tell her mama exactly what happened. And everybody know Queen. She like to laugh, she like to joke. So she gonna put drama in, in it. Mm -hmm. So if the girl had long hair, she gonna specify the girl had long hair. Right. If the girl had no hair, she gonna specify the girl that had no hair. Exactly what if the girl was lighter skin, darker skin, she gonna specify that because Queen is that type of person. Right. She talks with enthusiasm and attitude. Mm -hmm. So that's my spirit. Okay, and I met Queen maybe shortly after. She was a little girl, three, four, five. She was always really smart, really intelligent, wise beyond her years. I can actually say yes, that. That's, that's her. And she always had, she always from the beginning said, she gonna take care of her mom. When she grows up. That was her number. That's what I she always remember about that little girl. <laughs> right. oh, yeah, she I everybody knows <laughs> that. Yes, yes. Good. She's a very smart little girl. <laughs> I met Queen when she was four, going on five, in Danbury Green, Ypsilanti, Michigan. We lived in the court, like a horseshoe, and she was the neighborhood kid. You know, she sung all the time, chopping her lungs. Um, she went from my house to her house, back in her house. Mr. Little House, which was an older man, Granny, Catherine Hurst, and yeah. you know, we all protected and watched Queen. Mm -hmm. You know, she was loving and she didn't care if somebody had just bullied her. Two hours later, she wanted to play she with the kids. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Even old. though we get upset and like, uh-uh, you know, time out separates herself. She wanted to go back and play with the same kid. She didn't say, Oh, I don't want to play with these kids for this reason or this reason. No, she was just a child, being a child, playing with mm -hmm. kids. Me, I had um, my first child at that time, my skin tone, and Queen used to always play with my baby, and she would always call her chocolate baby, mm -hmm. brown baby. That's how we talk. She got that from me. Right. And so 
the term of brown girl or chocolate baby, she heard that at a young age, and it was kind of right. embedded in her. Right. And so it wasn't a shade or a skin texture or tone thing. It was that's what she's been hearing since she was a little girl. Mm -hmm. So we don't take offense to brown skin or chocolate baby because that's what she's been hearing. I mean, what you gonna call her? Right? What you gonna say? Yeah. Mm -hmm. like chocolate baby, chocolate girl. And you know, you know what? We all give our nicknames. Like the little uh, my little nephew, his name is Chase. I call him Chocolate Drop because he's yeah, just a chocolate mm -hmm. fire yeah. little. He, mm -hmm. I think he's only four years old mm -hmm. and he is handsome. Mm -hmm. But I call him Chocolate Drop. It's nothing right. like, it's not me saying, oh, he darker than his right. sister. Right. I'm just saying, he's just right. so chocolate. He's smooth, he's got smooth skin. Mm -hmm. he's, oh, he's handsome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So it was the fact, I guess, that what offended a lot of people. And I don't want to take from the people that actually were offended because you have a lot of people on social media, you gotta put them in, you, you gotta classify them because you got some that, you know, just riding the wave. Like, some some were really offended by what she said. Um, and this, and if we're going back to what she said, they're referring to an old video when her and Chris was together. She sat on the bed, she said, I was always, I always remember being bullied by, they was always dark skinned and nappy headed girls. And so that just, you know, started a whole war when she said it. So some people were hurt by that. Some people were, uh, some people want to jump on a bandwagon and ride away because everybody else is. Some people just don't like her. And some people just don't want to uh, see her grow. Some people trying to snatch the chair off and underneath her. So that's how, you know, society is. But we're not here to take from that. We're just explaining on how she was and how she was raised. And I know what she was saying when she said that. But I'm not justifying what she said, but I know why she said it. Just by like, no means was yeah. it malicious in any way. You know, it was because just, that's the yeah. way we, we talk about her. We always yeah. we all embedded her in that. I, I'm, yeah, we, we all from the we always, we always we we that like that because yeah. my hair was always better than my sister's. Mm -hmm. Right. My mother's sister. Oh, so I used to be like bald headed Tina. Yeah. All the time. That's how we used to because Tina was bald headed. You know what I mean? I didn't love her. Right. I love my sister. Right, right. Instead of me saying, oh, Tina, I love you, or Tina, you pretty, or Tina this, we was just in a household where we capped on each other, or we scolded on each other. Oh, yeah. Even today how kids is at school. These kids is way cooler than what we used to be. Mm -hmm. These kids, they put it on social media, and it goes from there. If I called you bald-headed Reba, or called you ugly, or mm -hmm. called you fat, or whatever I called you, it was between me and you. Right. It didn't hit social media. Right. Right. That's now right. that's the problem You're today. You're on Facebook with it. That's the problem today. Go if on. I got a problem with you, I'm going to put it on Facebook. No, right. we walked down the street because it wasn't no phone. Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I'm going to get my sister to check you because I wasn't fighting nobody. <laughs> I'm going to be Tina. Okay? Tina wasn't fun. So, you go get somebody to help felicitate the problem. Mm -hmm. right? I'm trying right, to make right. it personal, you know, right. professional, but to help fight. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't like all the social media. The social media, we have kids committed suicide because of social media. Yeah, and, and, right. and the thing about it is, is one thing that somebody could say or text, it could be took out of character. Because you can read a text however you want to read it. Right. Yeah. I really I personally, like I don't like texting Maybe. because if you say I'm on my way, <laughs> I can make you yes. have an attitude mm -hmm. saying you're on your way because right, right, right. you know what time you're supposed yeah. to be here. Yeah. 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 So why you got I'm on my way because you're not sounding right. I wonder what now. What happened? What's going on? Right, right. right. Yeah. So, yeah, I so like her statement when she said it, she was young, she was young. and that's yeah. what we. We all did it. But it's the Even way she said it out of anger. I, I watched that video when she said it out of anger. She was like, it was always dark skinned, nappy headed girls. Like, oh. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, not so much of what they were, but dang, they bullied me. You know what I'm saying? She's calling out what she remembered. You know, as if she was to say, it was always fat white boys. Mm -hmm. It was good. Fat white boy was always messing with me. Yeah. yeah. Or She's just calling like, out what she said. Or just like how. They say guys with hoodies. Yeah. So if I see a young man walking down the street, he got a hoodie on, I can't see his face. Think he a thug. Oh, he got a gun. Oh, right. You know what I'm saying? So we do it ourselves. Yeah. So, so, we do our so it's some stuff yeah. that we just take out of, and we wasn't worried about the hoodies before. Right. We wear hoodies a long time. Right. Right. But right. they made us focus on that. Mm -hmm. 
Right. right. Mm -hmm. You're right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, that's right. Hoodies been around for a long time. Right. Mm -hmm. And black boys been wearing them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. But as soon as they put that out there, like, oh, it's a black boy with a hoodie. Now we even scared of the black boys in the hoodie. Right. 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 Not right. things, right. And stuff. You get what I'm saying? Stereotyping right. that went stereotyping. on. Stereotyping, yes. It's exactly. a stereotype that caused a lot of things. And I'm just like feeling sometimes when I keep hearing the fact that she's being drugged for this after the fact that she has apologized for it several times. It's like, is this really hurt now or is this just hate? Is it, are you really hurting? Because if I actually come to you and say I called you nappy headed and say you social media. And I come to you, I know I said that to you. I'm sorry. I apologize. If you're going to accept my apology, no, I hate you. I don't care what you said. So what? You just got hate in you. Because you can't have the heart to accept my apology. Yeah. You know How many saying? people out here are saying worse things and never apologizing? Never, never apologized for it, but she came for it. At the time she said it, I didn't, my, me, myself, I thought, why are you apologizing for that? Because it's like to say, y'all black and I'm not. I'm a black woman all day. I'm just the lighter shade of a black woman. I do have nappy hair. I am happy to be nappy, but I like silky smooth sometimes. Right, right. <laughs> I ain't got time for the heat. You know what I'm saying? So I'm nappy, but should I apologize because me and you got into it and the first thing I said was your black nappy hair and stuff. I'm not justifying what I'm saying, but at the same time I'm calling out what I see. And you gonna look at me and say, with your fat nappy hair and stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's it, it seems like it's, it's, it's a problem when color is called, but it's yeah. a problem also when you body shame. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Right. I've been called fat. Mm -hmm. We've been judged several times off the strength of, but they say the, the colorism, what, what Queen has said, but actually be the same people who judged us mm -hmm. when it came to Queen. First thing off the top I would hear was, that's Queen's family? <laughs> they look like that? Queen adopted. Oh, Queen's the only blessed one. Why? Because we're not ugly people. It's just that we don't look like queen. We don't have the light skin. We don't have the silky hair. You know, so people, they have a tendency to stereotype. And then in the comments, one person had made a statement and said, wow, I, I thought queen's mother would look like a supermodel. You know, and so you we stereotype a supermodel. But, but I was supposed to look like Queen, you you're not supposed, petite, you're, you're not supposed to look like, You're supposed to look like how the public want us to look. Yeah, yeah but so like, like right queen. now, like right now, y'all take this for instance. Anybody that had big breasts and big bottoms, mm -hmm. the boys looked at them. Right. So you know you went home and stuffed some tissue in the <laughs> right, right, right. I'm gonna and come out way back. I, I'm gonna come out with some titties today because right. I want them to look at me. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now today you don't even have to stuff. You can just right. go get surgery. You, you can go get you so, whatever right. you got to get done. Right. But my sin to say this is before we didn't even want to be big. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We try. Everybody to, want to skinny. We, we want to skinny because that's what they want us to look like. Yep. Yep. Right. Okay. That's what they yep. society wanted us to look like. They right. didn't want us to love on our skin. They didn't want us to love on who we are. Okay, so we had a little camera difficulty or whatever, but we good. We good. We good. So uh, yeah. So as yeah. I was saying, was I had this friend that she making her business to say, Carla, what have you said positive today? Because what happens with us? We don't speak life into these young kids. And so after she like embedded that in me. So now I don't try not to, I'm not gonna hold y'all up. I try not to say too much negative. I try to build everybody up I come across because it's so easy for us to point out somebody's flaws. That's true. But how about point out the beauty in them? You get right, what I'm saying? Right. So like so I came home and said, Reba, your makeup so pretty. Girl, right. I like your nails. Girl, right. you looking good because y'all are my sisters. That's right. 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 And we gotta some way, somehow, make a change for these young people because what's happening is these young people not being like not being spoken to them at home. That's right. And I spoke like her mind, and I feel I feel like that's where Queen feels left out at because it's like to say to her, Well, you ain't black. You know, you mixed. How many of us have been single out? I ain't never heard nobody in the hood say just because you was mixed that you mixed. You mixed. No, we all know you black too. You're black. Yeah, all the time. Black. 
All right, you better than nobody else. We're calling your mama. Right, right. Daddy black, you're black. Your mama black, you're black. You know, and that's where she came from, and I think that's what that's what hurts her, and it hurts me to see her hurt like that because. I know I didn't raise her like that, and everyone that's around her know that she's not that type of person to say, you're not a black woman, you're not of us. I think that is somewhat to me like saying, what am I trying to say? I'm prettier than you. I'm prettier than you. Than you, you, know, you can't can say that. Right. You right. can't say, I can say it to you, mm -hmm. but you can't, can't say, say it, it to me. me. You know, yeah, she was bullied when she was young. She was bullied. I was the one going up to that school. Yeah. I was the one running out the door uh, at the playground. I the, run to the bus stop. They bit the girl in her face. They pushed my baby off the swing. Mm -hmm. They put, I mean, a lot of things that she had went through. I had to go to the school. Like, wait a minute, y'all gonna have to get y'all kids up off my That's daughter because right. this just don't make no sense. Mm -hmm. I'm coming to the school every other day for her. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so for her to be angry about something that happens t to her in her life. It's kind of like saying, well, you don't have a right to be angry about that because of the way that you said it. We don't care what you just was, what happened to you. We care about what you just said about our head. Right. And that's not fair because that's saying, like, to me, like, you hit me. <laughs> like, somebody hit me. You hit me. So what? Don't, no, don't hit me back. Right. Right. Hit me back. I was bullied yeah. coming up, and it was like, <laughs> You know, girls would get in my face and be like, you know, they'd call me a name and I'd say something back and be like, what you say? Mm -hmm. Like, I can say that to you, but you can't say that to me. Yeah, right, right, right. And so that's like the situation that's going on here right yeah. that I think that's being kind of like blowed up and, and making her feel like, like she's going through it to me, she's going through it all over again. Yeah, right. It's like she's crucified all over again. Yeah. She was bullied when she was young. Yeah. Oh, now you spoke up on it. Okay, so since you said that, now you bullied again. Mm -hmm. exactly. You know, and I don't, I, I, I can kind of see where she's coming from. But I can see, like I was saying, where that could have really hurt someone because they had made, may have went through that in their childhood right. where yeah. that really affected them that she it's said that. Yeah. But. I like how you said that. I like how you yeah. making her take ownership for saying it. Yeah. Not saying, you know, um, Queen said this and just because she was bullied, it's all right. No, right. You said it's not all right that she right. said it. Right. Just because like it's not all right that the other person said it. Exactly. Right. Whatever they say. So Whatever that, that, that's, that's good that you're saying that because, like you said, everybody at this table deal, dealing with some type of hurt from childhood. Mm -hmm. Even the fans, even just people on the everyday dealing with hurt. And hurt people hurt people. Yeah. Hurt people say hurtful things that later on, like Queen. Mm -hmm. yeah. Queen is famous now. We sit on the table. I knew she was going to be a singer. All the time. Okay. We didn't know that she was going to be sitting at the Grammys, though. Right. <laughs> but, 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 but the guy, but the guy she served, the guy her mama served, right. the guy we served, yes. right. all things is possible. Yes. So yes. being saying that, we didn't know that one statement will come back to haunt her one day. Because we said it all day in the hood. Right. All we knew when we was coming up. I mean, when I say the hood, we is from the hood. We say all the time. She's so ugly. ugly. We're an ugly show. Bald headed. So bald headed. Head 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 you know the first thing we said? Right. I'm trying to wear blind stuff her long <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. I was cute, but I was fat. That's always been my chocolate. I was always cute. I'm dark. Like soon as I'm cute, but soon as you mad at me, with her big fat. Right. You can't have a compliment and then gotta add right. a right. 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 But that's how everybody, I don't know nobody's home grew up where somebody didn't say something negative. Right. No. Come on now. And, and, and they know that that happens in our culture. So I'm like, who is offended by this? I, 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 they're, they are black women, but are there other women that's offended? Because some people, like I said, want to jump on a bandwagon. Mm -hmm. It could that's be true. some woman that's mixed on there and ain't even got no nappy hair want to call her call call uh, dark skinned mm -hmm. black nappy hair. Nappy hair. Right. <laughs> okay, what you offended? Well, what, how are you? Are you jumping in because you don't like her? Or, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You could be. It's like you gotta. You can't single them out because they're all on social media. But at the same time, I don't think that Queen should constantly suffer for that after she has apologized. Right several times because that's like telling her take your apology and shove it up your right. mind and what you gotta say. We don't mm -hmm. care what you gotta say. And that's not right. That's not say anything right. we want you to that's do. Not. But yeah. it's right. okay. and it is not like when she said she singled one person out that hurt her that could have been 
hurt by that. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They just took that and ran with the whole thing. Still, yeah. to this day. They took it ran with the whole thing. They took it ran with the whole thing. And as you can see, sitting at this table. And she said, and they're going to say it with this beautiful sister. Chocolate. Oh, chocolate. Oh, chocolate. Oh, 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 and she's been around since oh, birth. All oh, types oh, of hair. Oh, and you know what? It hurts because that's how she would say. That's how she would. She's always been a person that compliments. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. I never so taught her. I never so taught her. I never taught her. If you never, she never was around me. You can hear me saying, "Well, I'm light skinned Yeah, I ain't, ain't never heard me say nothing like that. But the first time I ever heard Queen say chocolate, I did not teach her that. God is my witness. We were in Mammoth Mall when it was in Detroit. Yeah, I remember that. And that woman came up. She said, "You're a pretty little, a pretty little girl." Queen's like, "Oh, you too. You're a pretty chocolate lady." Mm -hmm. And the lady was like, "Oh my God!" But that was the first time I heard Queen say that. Right. Mm -hmm. So she referred to people as flavors. Yes. She never referred to them as colors. <laughs>